Well, she was a great student, um, a lot of fun. Um, she a hard worker, very hard worker. Gracie was uh, also very active in the physics uh, department. Um, she hung around a lot and did lots of things for us, helped in uh, labs and in tutoring, and um, I think she even worked in the observatory when we opened it in Olin. Yeah, we're very proud of Gracie having gone on to a graduate school at uh, UT Austin. Um, she did really well there, um, and starting off in um, mechanical engineering in a master's program and then going on in, in biomedical engineering in a PhD program. Um, I was very happy to go visit her one time. I was happened to be at a conference in Austin and um, stopped in to see her and visit her lab, and she showed me some very impressive work she was doing at um, imaging tiny blood vessels under the skin um, using some very neat optical techniques. She also taught us a little bit about um, new software and uh, that we now use a lot in our experimental modern physics lab, um, LabVIEW and some other control software that we use. What she has shown our department is um, that somebody that wants to make it and works hard can get through even our tough program. You know, she's a great researcher and well respected for her work in biooptics, biooptic imaging. Um, but she also is uh, trying to give back, I think, in many different ways. And one of those is she developed a program called PREP that uh, is designed to help underrepresented students um, who are interested and motivated um, to be able to get into uh, biomedical engineering and to, and to eventually receive a PhD in that area. I believe that she is a wonderful, caring person, and I would say that first. Um, but I also say she's you know, a very hardworking researcher and well-respected for the work that she's done.